Hello and welcome. Alright, in this video I'm going to teach you how to use sockets. So, what is a socket? It's basically something on your computer that uh, represents an IP address and a port. So it's used for communication. Um, can be between processes on the same computer. Usually it's uh, between computers over a network or internet. Um, so you also need to specify a buffer size. So when your socket gets something, it knows when to stop reading. Um, if this number is too small, it could chop off the end of your message. So make sure this is a decent size, depending on your purposes. <clears throat> so you need to import the socket module, set it up with these two parameters, inet, that probably stands for internet, and socketdgram. Uh, this lets the socket object know that we're going to be using the UDP. Now that's a protocol for unsecure packages over a network. And this just means uh, essentially internet protocol. So once we have our socket object, we need to bind it to this port and IP address tuple. And then for this server, we'll just say, always listen, whatever you get, just print it out. And then keep listening. So I think if we did this using uh, TCP with stream is the parameter here, we would use a function called listen. But since we're using a UDP socket, we use receive from. That's not recv from, it's receive. So let's just compile this and see if it runs. Uh, not compile, uh, interpret. It interprets without crashing. So clients, somewhat similar. You need an IP and a port. You need to connect it up the same way. <clears throat> Instantiate the object, pass in the right, uh, right arguments. And here we're going to build a message. Uh, this is the client, so we're just going to have a count starting at zero each time we increment and send. So for UDP, we use the send to message. So let's just see if this works. Okay, so it's not actually sending it because nothing's there. But if we turn the server on first, the server's going to wait. And then we turn the client on. That's showing what it's sending. So now the server is showing what it's receiving. So this is the address. And these lines here, well, the left side, the thing that's changing. That is the incoming data. So <clears throat> that is UDP.